Today we're going to go over how to configure Mercury controllers and this should work for the LP series as well as the EP series. First thing you're going to want to do is go into your computer's network settings and change it to be on the same network as the default of the controller which is 192.168.0.251. You're going to want to be in that same range. If you're not aware how to do that, uh, check online. There's a number of different tutorials and stuff you can pull up. So what I'm doing right now is running a constant ping on the address that we're searching for. I have my board powered up. I have it plugged in to the network. And now I'm just running a ping to see when it comes online now that I have it powered up. And once I get a reply, I know that I can go into the browser and pull up the web page. And the web page is the exact same IP address that we're trying to connect to, which is 192.168.0.251. You go ahead and log in, and you'll do admin and password for the password. You'll notice here that it tells you that you need to go to the controller itself and switch the dip switch from on, I'm sorry, off to on within the first five minutes of logging in. So you have to do this pretty quickly. So if the controller's on another side of the building, you'll need to have somebody who does it for you. So if you go to the top of the board here, and then I'm zooming in, you can see the dip switches and you want to make sure you're focused on the on setting right there. It can be a little hard to read and I know a number of times customers have gotten this incorrect. The on as we're facing the board right now is on the right hand side of the screen. So I toggled my switch on and off. I'm going to the login page and doing admin and password once again. You'll see that there's no user accounts created and we'll go ahead and create one in a couple seconds here. You'll see I have the host name of the device, which is just the MAC address. And now you can go in and change the network settings so they're not all default. I'm going to go ahead and match this to my home network here. And if you want to use a DNS or any DNS settings, you can add those. I'm not going to do that for this. And go ahead and hit accept. You'll notice it gives you a message that says you need to apply the settings before they actually take to the controller. Now, if you're doing this over a area connection, and you want to connect your 1502 to a different subnet or something like that, you can put in a host IP address here, and that's how you would do it right in this section. We're not going to do that right now. If you see here, we have some device info, and there's some advanced networking options as well. And you can add like a route table and stuff like that here. I'm not going to do that for this tutorial. And here's where I can add a new user. And you'll see down below, it has all the password recommendations and the character specifications that you need to meet. And go ahead and hit save. If you want to add your own customer certificate, you can. There's some auto save settings. And you have a whole bunch of different options on the left hand side. But for our purposes, those are the items that we're going to focus on. Once you have everything where you want it, you can go ahead and click apply settings. You'll notice it gives you a warning here to make sure you go back to the controller and change the dip switch settings back to off. So every single dip switch there will be off on that SW1 bank. And if you've never done a dip switch, this is basically what you'll need to do. And now they're all set to off. So I can return back to my computer and click yes. It will reboot the controller. And from there, you'll need to access it through the new IP address. I'll go ahead and run another constant ping. And once I get a reply from my new IP address, I can log into it from the new IP address. All right, I got a reply. So now I can go back, change my IP address in the browser. And I'm right back to the login screen. And now I can go ahead into ACM and add this controller into ACM.